Machines like this do not get any breaks. The Tianhe One is mainly used to serve our country's universities, research institutions, small and medium-sized enterprises, and to provide scientific computing services. It carries out 1,400 computing tasks per day. That means 1,400 scientific research teams are engaged with the Tianhe One in science and technology research work. Using a Linux-based operating system, the Tianhe One is one of the few petascal supercomputers in the world. Besides carrying out computations for scientific research, such as porcelain exploration and aircraft design, it also understands human genetic code. If we want to check the health of a fetus, previously we had to diagnose by amniotic fluid, which has potential dangers. Now with gene technology, we just need to sample the blood, so the machine can generate new data and then send it to the Tianhe One. We can build up information based on our experience and technology with the data. This data lays the foundation for the team's next innovative breakthrough. We use big data to analyze the results of trends based on information collected from hundreds of thousands of people. Some people have genetic disorders, for example, high blood pressure. What's the family's background? What's the trend for a specific group? We can provide a consultation and precise treatment based on individual cases. Running at full capacity means a faster calculation is needed. Scientists say that they are embarking on developing a new generation of supercomputers. And as those machines are expected to be launched in 2020, it's possible to see computers that will run 200 times faster than the already advanced Tianhe One.